What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to A Certain Point of View here on a Thursday. At least I think it's Thursday. Today is Thursday, according to Jill. I had no idea you had that on the sign, I swear. Perfect. Uh, today we are back, um, and we are here for match reaction, per usual, as we are on a Thursday. Uh, I know Molly is on the thumbnail. Um, she is out today. Uh, she is not joining us late. Um, she just had a very, very, very long day, and she needed some time off. And so she is out. It'll be the three amigos. Hello. Um, Taking over the, the the play along today and having a little fun with the whole view crew and uh, everybody in the chat. How's everybody doing today? Jill, Brian, weekend's almost upon us. We all three need it. Don't we? Don't we need it? My, my lighting. I'm ready to go to bed now. My lighting today is just not happening. I don't think it's bad. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Hello. I don't think it's bad. I need to pull up. It's today was a long day. It was a long day today. Um. Yeah, it was a long day. Not like a bad day. Just dragged. Just dragged on. Yeah. That's that's called a long day. I had to go in the office today, so that just makes it longer. Mm. So Fair. but I'm going back home tomorrow. So that's good. That's how good. you doing, Brian? I'm ready to go to bed. Same. Let's I'm let's so try to amp this excitement up, guys. We all, just started all, this. All I do. You know, is sit in meetings for eight hours every single day. I don't even. We don't even leave our chairs unless we have to like go to the bathroom. That just hurts my back just thinking about doing yeah, that. Yeah, it's the absolute worst. Yeah. And it's just exhausting. Oh. Hi, little oh, one. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. And hello. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen Lunar, Lunar and Lunar, 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 Lunar Girl in the chat. I, I like know. your uh, I like your little Yoda. Yeah, I love the spelling of Luna Girl too. That's really I do cool. too. What we need yes. we'll be on our best behavior if a tiny human is watching. Yes. We'll be on our best behavior. Right, but, Lord, you, you know, are correct. You know yeah. what's great about today is no matter what happens, your girl gets fantasy points. Shut Unless up, you girl. get a TKO, then you're gonna lose a point. But don't I gain a point? Also, well, no, it, it would, uh, it would, you would gain one, or no, you. It's a point. It would, it would be null and void, I guess. It would be null Whatever. and void. Let's not talk about. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, because there would be, you'd be taking one and gaining one. So, math. Yeah, math. Okay, let's move on from this fantasy bull crap. Jacob Blunden, okay. where's Mr. your Blunden's face? In the chat. See, guys, we need to amp the mood up a little bit. I mean, come on, like. Let's like, let's get hyphy or something. Come on, hyphy. Don't you not allowed to say that if you are not from the Bay Area? Don't even. I'm allowed to say whatever the hell I want. Is it like, no, is it like, is it like Hella? Yes, I am. Is no, it like no, no, Hella. No, 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 no. Hella is allowed throughout all of California, even Southern California hates. No, it. that's a NorCal thing. No, but yeah, that's why Southern California hates Hella. They I know. Hate the word Hella. But you are yeah. not saying hyphy if you are not from the Bay Area. Get I it. don't I even. The hell I can, want. No, you're can not. You, I can say. Can, can you okay. teach the class what this means? Hyphy. Yes. Uh, overly excited. Um, basically, just like going crazy. Hence, Stoke. what we're, we need to where's become. Amari, where's Amru going? Hence, crazy, what we need to become right now. And dumb. Mm -hmm. Crazy, stupid, and dumb. Hyphy. Hyphy. If you know, I'll never if you're from use the Bay that Area. Word. Nope. I will never use that word in my vocabulary. And Jake won't ever use it again. I'm allowed to say whatever I want. So yeah. It doesn't matter. Not hyphy. Brian's not in control of what I said. To be so fair, I, say I, I also I'm say I'm going to get hyphy. I'm going to make this stream hyphy. Saturday is going to be hyphy with Jill Molly and Adam yes, Witt. Yes, Roberto. It's going to be hyphy. Thank you, Roberto. I'm just going to talk over you. I don't yep. even know Mac who Dre. this is. Oh. I'm old. I'm a, I'm old. I don't know. You are literally the youngest. Actually, Jill, you're the youngest. One, so. oh, wait, no, I'm not, not the youngest. I'm older you're the than youngest. you. Bish. Yeah. Don't oh, even. I'm the youngest. Don't even try me. Party on, rock stars. I turned 30 this year, sir. Young young people go hyphy. Oh, I'm too old for that. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, oh, I'm done with Okay, it. bye. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got excited. I was like, oh, it's just me today. Right. Okay, I win. Uh, let's, Not uh, only do I win in 50 points, I win in the reaction. We, ha we have to say congratulations to specifically Jacob Blunden because he alone is hosting the Olympics in 2032. Why? Mm -hmm. 
Be- oh, you mean Australia? Oh, God. Yes. Brisbane, Australia. <laughs> this was the God. Uh, I mean, he, well, he's not the country, but I got the reference. Yep. Is he yep. even from Brisbane? No. I mean, yeah. I think so. Yes. Jacob? Jacob Blunden, decide this right now. I'm you pretty sure right if he's not from there, I'm pretty sure they live there. Facts. If Facts, Franco. Facts. You're amazing is oh, what you are. Oh, oh he is know. from Brisbane. If, okay. if the little child wasn't watching, I would be using fingers that happen to be in <laughs> the middle. There is a you. tiny because human. This is, this is a family fun channel. Whoa, Jacob. Ooh. We are family friendly. I'm going to just keep adjusting my lights. Except Only on one. Saturdays once a month. What Except is... on Saturdays once a month. Even though it's like, what, 11 <laughs> years away? Yeah, I know, Brian Ward. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, we're <laughs> on the path to survive to that long. We, we are seven long. minutes into this stream, and we haven't talked a single schmuck on ish. Uh, welcome to POV, everybody. Hi. Um, yes, Hello. we are here for a uh, what, what I think is actually going to be a really fun match. Um, I'm super excited about this one because we're seeing the return of Jen Kemp uh, in a singles match. She has not won in a singles division, and I don't think she's had that many matches. I don't know what her record is exactly. Uh, someone can correct me in the chat. I know she's done IG a little bit more than singles and obviously some teams, but um, I'm super excited. After a free-for-all performance, I think I got more excited for what she's capable of doing. And then uh, we get to see the debut of Schmoneyball from Mr. Felix Moritz, uh, who we, we had on wow. the channel. We were... We were uh, uh, very, very lucky to be able to talk to him earlier this year before he got drafted. Thank you, Selvin. She's 0-3. Uh, so there another Silva Strini like yesterday. Um, and unfortunately, Rachel lost that match. But uh, Felix Moore, yes, yeah, so we're going to see the debut of Schmoneyball today. Uh, Surprise, it took this what, long for him to the match. Right? I was yeah, right? It took a long thing. time. It took a very, very long time. Um, oh, half the thank you, Leo. A little bit more breakdown. She's 0-1 in singles exactly. So she's only had one singles match. Um, okay. one's we've only seen her three times and, really? she, and I knew she was I knew she was low in the viewing I thought uh, so she wow she's only had three official matches outside of the free wow yeah wow okay well I hope you see more Jen Kemp I didn't so, realize it was um, literally one in each of the divisions yeah, I didn't know that she only had three matches wow okay um, alright well let's make some predictions and uh, let's let's get to this one uh, Jill, I'll let you start since you weren't be able to. Hear, you weren't here yesterday. Uh, who are you picking, and why? Well, no matter what happens, I'm happy. Well, you uh, know what? Just talk. Just stop talking BS. Just stop. Well, talking. now you have to pick. I know that's fine. Um, I am. She going doesn't to have be... trouble today because it doesn't matter to her. That's why. It matter. <laughs> um, I will give the win to Jen on this one because she's already had a couple matches this season. She's been in the game, and mm-hmm, I th- mm-hmm. I think because mm-hmm. we haven't seen Felix yet, it's been like waiting in the wings kind of thing. I don't know if he's like like why know. did it take so long? Why did right? it take so long? Like was he busy? We all we know we know that he works for not Amazon directly, but like someone something that's under Amazon. Uh, so he might be incredibly busy, obviously, with like stuff getting back into business after COVID. But why did it take so long? Know. But I'm Fair happy enough. with whatever happens in this match. So, the end. Brian, are you in the same train? Ray. Okay, no words needed. Just a whiteboard. Um, all right, I will. And look, this is nothing against nothing against Felix. No, uh, no, no. I just really? I don't know. You're gonna pick against Felix. You've been the schmutty ball talker this whole. Uh, been waiting for. I mean, this. I. Well, yeah, but I. Mr. Moneyball, Oakland A's. But that doesn't mean I'm going to pick Schmoneyball because I don't know what Schmoneyball is really all about right now. Interesting. Um, I we we haven't seen it. Uh, I don't really know what he's capable of as a trivia player. And like I said, I just really love Jen Kemp. Like I really Who like. Who doesn't? Like I, I think that she is so fun to watch. Um, she played great last year in that IG tournament. Uh, her and Vinny were great last week, and then her, obviously her free for all performance earlier this year uh, and the whole duck onesie was great. Um, Stay on a good onesie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's just a she's a really really fun time, and I'm happy to see more of her. Um, uh, oh, Con, interesting. I might know who Felix was supposed to play months ago, but my lips were sealed. You sly dog. You sly sly dog. Um, interesting. Okay, real quick before we get going. So Jen Camp across the board. 
Uh, and again, nothing against uh, Mr. Felix Moore, but no, Jeremy no. Adams here, Mr. Ryder Jeremy Adams, not oh, that one. Thank that you, Brian. One. Nope, Brian. Nope. Uh, hi guys, I got to play against Jen and the fan leagues, then Ooh. got to write questions for her in this great match. Aww. I'm so happy. That's interesting. Cute. There you go. Love um, it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get this one going. Uh, Excuse we'll start you. This one off. No, no. Nothing uh, against. Uh -huh. yeah. Nothing, yeah, nothing against. Doesn't matter. And like you've it's, ever been like against. Nothing against. I mean, it, some people take things the wrong way. I want to make sure they're not taking it the wrong way. We like, don't. Nothing wrong with it. Not like you. There's nothing wrong with it. You're saying. Okay, I'm gonna start great. this bad boy. <laughs> he goes by the nickname Money, and so it's Kanata. Money and Jen Kemp. It's always good to see a good Ken. Right always now. good to see a good I Ken. like horror movies, but I know I'm definitely not as good as her, but uh, she just played amazing today. I feel like I've done well. I've done okay, like solid. I'm not embarrassed about my performance today, but I seem to bring out the best in the people I play against. So I feel like I did okay, but I know I'm, I can do better. More work, get it in there. I gotta give shout out to Jen Kemp though. Like I know she came in late Look to for all, but did you see my girl? Jen came in here and she handled her business. The fact that she- Look at the row that she was up against. Three and no. The one thing that came out of free for all outside of Paul winning, outside of Ben getting the MVP, when is Jen gonna play? Jen's someone that I know is really good. I have known this for years and she just mm -hmm. hasn't gotten the chance to really show it. And to me, this is what Jen Kemp is about. When Winston asked me if I want money, I said, yeah, I'm a big fan of money. I like it. I use it. I have a little. I keep it in a jar nice. on top of my refrigerator. So, wait, is that, that, that his nickname? Money? Told me person. Probably. Oh, my okay. God. Is he actually holding money? It's better be important. Why we start every call like this? I told you before, I can't confirm if Oliver Stone's Wall Street is based off my life. But I won't deny it either. Ah. This person is a wild card, and we like to live on the edge. So, Felix Moritz, come on over to the stars. Now, you have your first singles match, Felix Moritz. Wait, what? What do you mean I have a Schmodown match coming up? No, Armando, I told you to buy the Schmodown. Buy it, not <laughs> enter me into it. Felix seems like a real uh, successful, uh, worldly funny. individual. Good character, good finest, character. I like it. Drinking the finest champagne and just I like making it. it rain stacks of cash. I had seen his like promos and everything as a rookie. I was like, this is a fun character. I'm excited just to see him play, yeah. period. So I was like, oh, it's fun. And at the same time, it's once again, I'm going up against the stars. I spent the past year on the couch glued to Netflix and modeling the finest yoga pants Target has to offer. We so stand. We're both we stand a good pair of Target yoga pants. I once took a week off of work. Oh, oh there we go. Every movie I've ever Inception. seen birth. Like, I, I am dedicated to making sure I, I know everything that I've seen and then a reference point to going back to it. What is a mean We love movie? a good POV. Your favorite movies yeah, are we do. fantasy? We do. Thank you, Nerd It doesn't even make sense. Thank Everyone you, knows the best movies are about money. Felix apparently has this secret shmoney ball formula that'll somehow give him the edge coming into the match today, but little does he know. I have been working on my own analytic system, so brace yourself, Roxy. Here comes some real sexy numbers. Ooh. Love it. Love it. Carry the Ed Harris, and <laughs> in the words of Howard Ratner, this is how I win. Ah. Love it. We gotta start okay. saying. Okay. Ryan, Stevie, Quentin, Marty. Get him on a plane, get him here now. Money never sleeps. We have a match to win. Good moving, Armando. You're fired. So unfortunately, it's time for you to cash out because Felix, mo money, mo problems. No money, just answers. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag no money, just answers. I like it. I like this it. is gonna be a fun one. Again, more, more gin. This is going to yeah, be I like, a I like what one. Felix is doing, too. I, I do, really too. Like I like his Well, again, like that's something else we should probably point out here. This is going to be Boston on Boston. I thought he was talking to someone, like, off screen or, like, oh, just on screen, but then I realized he had the AirPods in. Marshall, the manager, is here today. What do you make of the stars Boston. and team swag? Now, at, currently, they're below where they want to be. Good call, Charlie. Mendoza right, line call. and in that right. faction standings. They currently occupy the last two places, but we've seen go, go on runs before. Could it start for one of them today? 
Yeah, you know, anyone from Boston always Excuse believes me. you just need a Dave Roberts stolen base and you're back in it. And uh, that one still hurts me. 04 uh, brings back a lot of nightmares. But yeah, th you know, these two managers know their way around the game. They know they know how to get you to the, the top, and often that starts from the lower ends. It's downswings, upswings, and, and both these managers, I have complete faith that they're going to calm their players, <laughs> give them the right advice, and not worry about the big picture, only what's right in front of you. Dave Roberts going from a championship player to a championship manager. You and I, we went from players Damn right. who didn't win championships, <laughs> and now we're behind the desk where we belong. Make sure you get your free egg at uh -huh. Sammy's. Isn't that right, Ken? Are you ready to get going here, sir? Uh, I am absolutely ready to get going. Then we turn it over to the golden throat of Mr. Christian Harwa. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia. I want to hear Ken do that. Stop pogging it, Christian. Intro. Introducing first. Representing the stars and his manager, Roxy Stryer, making his day. He's announcing the players. Movie, trivia Schmoda. Christian oh, literally, okay, when he's not, not there, only Felix does that part. Money. Morin. His, his name is I Money. I have arrived. Hello, Schmoda. And is that there. Monaco? I'm a little <laughs> late. Me and my boy Armando have been studying nonstop. I was gonna say wow. this does look like some sort of currency, both in presentation Are we ever gonna meet and Armando? hopefully in knowledge as well. Felix, I, I gotta start just asking you. You're yeah. in the slowdown. You've dreamed of this moment for a long time. What does it feel like now that you are on the precipice of your very first match? Feels great. Uh, I think more importantly, it feels like another source of income. Uh, oh, I've heard those belts are made of solid gold. Do they always uh, play the music for this long? Collection. Or am I just doing yeah. yeah. what I love about yes. Felix. Okay. He looks like a hitman that's going to come do. after you after you've kicked his parents. This also sounds cool and calm under Very pressure. similar yeah, to JT's Felix, music. Felix, take me through the emotions of, of making this big leap to the Trivia Shmodown from the, the, the fan leagues, the other leagues. I don't even like to call them Is fan leagues. Is he only $10,000? The competition so fierce. What are you feeling right now now that you're on this stage? I'll take some. Yeah, I feel good. I feel calm. Like I said, I've been. What out are the Monica actual chances that that's real? Armando. Hi, John. Uh, running drills. Depends what he does for a living. People said I was crazy to pay him a hundred thousand dollars to come question me. Probably ten thousand. Probably. I think uh, today's results are going to show 000. otherwise. But you know, it, it, it's it's another animal when you come into the schmodown. I got a lot of respect for for Jen. Um, I, I, I am here to prove that it's not going to be a a small little mountain that she has to climb to get that first win in the in the singles league, but. Time will tell, and money will tell. Uh, Felix, how much money is that? Please tell. Uh, we have 10,000 here, but we also have uh, 10,000 here. Jesus. Um, I think 10,000 here. Just give me oh. one more second. Uh, 10,000 here. I got to get maybe my other hand involved in 10,000 here. Um, that is an just, impressive Just came stat. ready in case, you know, okay, that's anybody wanted some waters, just you I mean, know, ready to buy the crew, whatever they you need. You never know. Uh, Ken, not the best to just have really 50 G's, Felix, but for now, we okay, look, we if he's rolling apartment. around with coming to the arena, dollars sitting in his apartment, she is unranked in the Schmodown with a record of why isn't the Schmodown plus? like worldwide at this point? Like, just make she Felix your back, representing Team Swag what? and her manager, Winston Marshall. This is the mean queen, Jen. Hello, hello. There is Jen Kemp with the most comfy looking chair in all of the Schmodown. Jen, you're not in the comfy chair. You are in the hot seat. You're about to get back into competition, and you're looking for that first win. As we said, it has been so, so close before. What is that magic sauce that's going to get you over the hump today for your first win? I mean, at this point, my main strategy is to just be luckier, so hopefully that can work out for me today. But, uh, I, yeah, I've only had including today three matches and two of them have been against the stars so roxy why are you so obsessed with me but i guess yeah. i'm giving you points so maybe i can get some of that faction magic later uh but yeah well, like i'm excited you, to be back and hopefully get a win today but anybody can get a win now at this point i think i'm just trying to get as good many night, points as possible human. without uh, i think that's a record that i'm doing pretty good at 
Jen, let me ask you this question. Uh, Hungry Hungry Hippo, is it up there on the shelf behind you? Because that's the only game I'm good at. Anyways, here's the thing the about Boston. Tiny human's Boston name is Zoe. Is with you so because good night, if you Zoe. come out to LA Zoe, from Boston and you find another person night, from Boston, you, you sit for three hours in the corner bar talking about how great Boston is. All you Boston people around, do you have, is there some sort of, do you feel like uh, this, that, that's Boston. a connection that's going to distract you? Uh, that, that that city, that town, that place, uh, can you put that aside? That city, that town, that place, that I location. mean, it's going to be wicked hard, but uh, yeah, Roxy, she honestly, she looks so much like one of my cousins that it's hard to really hate against her, so mm. I get nothing but love for Roxy, and yeah, money seems like a good guy that might help me with some stock tips later on, which I'm always open to. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that, Jen. Ryan Kramer, what, what you did you hear what correctly. What game tape footage Jill can you study with no matter Felix? What. I know he's been around a lot. What we're hoping legs, happens what do you is that the power goes out and this match actually never happens. I honestly was not aware really? that there was game tape for him. I, I looked same. around and I didn't really find much. Just I found same. some shmoney ball statistics, which he seems like a little mini baby Bateman kind of in that this sense. A little so mini baby Bateman. Not Bateman's exactly also my the... forte. I more like to yeah. watch the movies and study the statistics about people answering questions nah. about the movies. Nah. But uh, it'll be it. interesting. I it's I definitely can't look two different schools of thought coming standings. in. Standings. Because it All right. Well, uh, let's get uh, oh, on with this here Schmodown match. Hey, movie trivia Schmodown fans. I'm Hi, Mark Baby Ellis. Carrots Ellis. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but you. Yes, you deserve to Me. feel happier Chuck, than you do Chuck, today. I don't want there to be a rain delay. I want there to be a complete postponement. That's what I want. Rain delays. Is, is space for delay. kids. Oh, that sounds lovely. Look at the happy little sun. Headspace. Free one month trial. Whoa, 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 a little too far. Excuse Ooh, me, whoa. everybody. No. Whoa, whoa. Still going there right go. now. There we Just go. get over Honestly. to headspace.com slash the schmodown. Thanks, Mark I Ellis. Nothing there, Mark. That, that city hurts me. <laughs> We're going to go back to Boston, and you're going to have a great Boston. time you're drinking that right. dirty water, Ken. Back All right, to Boston. So there there is been to Boston. And there is Jen. They are face to face, and they will now hear the rules I of will round be number going to one. Eight when questions. Many different corners of movie trivia, schmodown knowledge. All right, everybody. Each question. Thank you one so point. much for joining no us on Thursday here. Uh, to uh, everybody in the no chat, stealing, we see you all. If you're not in the chat, one, we still see you on the number count. Question: You have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at counting. Mr. The King, the King, that is correct. Show what you wrote to your camera. I said that yesterday. I said choices for you yesterday at some point. I don't know what it is. If you've been here before, uh, you know how it works. If you've not been here before, thank you so much for joining us. way it works is we use whiteboards in the first round, just like players play along, question for question, and then in round two and three, we see you have three who can get it first. One we read the question and, and we go complete point, shout outs it gets chaotic especially we'll if it's all a category that we love our content, and it will so good luck to be your manager and uh you are more than welcome to play along in the chat as there is a place. delay it will not help us at all at you for your very first and by the time we see it we'll probably have a right answer written down anyway funny talks let's do it and william i do see and jen kemp you're ready to get going i see him you can't see i feel underdressed next to him but yeah ready to go Let's go. We, we all took Let's a shot go. when we saw how nice Felix looked. All right, Ken, do you have RD, any you are words? always here. I know that. Uh, no, Mark. Other than this final question. Uh, you, uh, we appreciate you. Do you remember, you. Do you remember you. all those good times in D.C. with those clutch eggs? Yeah. Oh, good we're we're going to do it here. Let's Who in the chat this, watching friends. Tech They're Lasso ready. tomorrow? We're ready. Let's get ready to Schmodown. Let's get ready. All right, question number one. I'm actually more excited about that than Bad Batch tomorrow. Beautiful. Golden Great. Throat of Ken Knapsack. Ken, what is their first category? Question number one comes in the category of animated. Animated. Oh, yay. Which 2010's Disney film features the songs When <gasps> Will My Life Begin and I've Got a Dream? I see you, question Questions writers. I ask myself every morning while crying. In well, the based on that <laughs> response say, from one Jill Mantino. <laughs> Um, I'm guessing one specific Five, answer, one only. Four, three. And I hope it's right. Two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Tangle first. Yes, oh, that's one of my favorite. <laughs> Tangle. It is it's an underrated Disney flick, and that is correct. How about Felix? Didn't have it. Had Moana. <gasps> Money looking for his mm. first points. Felix. Of down. It is one nothing in favor of the meme queen. So Same. we go Yay, to Selvin. the one of the 1990s. These are films released. Sometime in the 1990s, or perhaps someone then. who starred in them. Your question. Which actress stars in the 90s films Picture Perfect, The Object of My Affection, and Office Space? 
<laughs> what is it? I don't know if she was in these, but I know that she was in office space, so I'm gonna put her down. <laughs> Not gonna work here anymore. One of the better movies I've ever seen in my life. Five. I don't four, know. I don't. Three. Mm -hmm. Two. One. Shout out to my college to Jennifer Aniston? Chad for introducing me to office space. We go to money for his first points. Jennifer Aniston. He is officially on the He's board in a showdown match, tying Jen Kemp, unless she Can also had like Jennifer Aniston. Oh, maybe. Jennifer Aniston. She oh, did. I didn't see it. it is two to one, Ken, and now they go to their. I wonder if that was a challenge. Third question comes it's to the maybe, category. It might have been an end. Just new releases. Like category weird. new releases. Director Simon McCoy directed what 2021 action film that stars uh, Louis Tan and is based on a popular video game franchise? Uh, Louis Tan, friend of the show. Yeah. Did they make uh, Kubert the movie yet? You know, I would watch a Kubert movie. Of a, uh, Kirby guy. He's in Wreck It Ralph. Anisted. Jennifer Anisted. Perhaps Earthworm Jim, too. Okay, he did write. An, okay, that's what I that thought it looked like. a repeat. He got it in just in time. Oh. All right. Category new release. Oh, director combat. Simon McCoy I mean, directed yeah, what 2021 it. action film that stars Louis Tan yeah. and is based on a popular Finish video him. game franchise? I enjoyed Mortal Kombat. Fight me. Uh, my, my system was the Commodore 64. There you go. Not a popular kid in school. Hot garbage. <laughs> Three, two, one. We were the last family on the block to get a Nintendo, so I feel some of your pain. Let's go to Jen Kemp. Did you have it? I'd be surprised if Felix was being that it was too much. That is ago. correct. Hey, Felix Kelly. did the JTE rule payoff. Also had Mortal okay. Kombat. There you go. Yeah. Did, and so he continues to trail by one in his first Schmodown match against Jim Kemp, the meme queen. We go to your next category, and that is in the world of action slash adventure movies, and it is. The first three entries in the Dirty Harry franchise, which starred Clint Eastwood, were released in which decade? <laughs> You know, I went to my video gay, uh, my video uh, uh, store in, in the '80s, and I checked out some uh, Larry King in the wrong uh, closet. That did not go. Make sure to put the well 19. In Amazing front of the my... difference one letter makes. Five, yeah. four, three, Take a shot. Two, one. Pens down. And we go to '60s. The 1960s. 1960s is incorrect. Dang Jen it. Kemp for a possible two-point lead. He has been around a long time, but I think it's the yeah, 70s. Yeah, it's the 70s. It is, in fact, the Yay. 1970s, and Jen Kemp still perfect through round number it's funny, one. funny. I'm perfect currently indeed. watching the Dirty Harry movies number five in the category for the first time. Dramas. Nice. Dramas. I've never seen I'm through Jason the first two Reitman right now. Jason directed this acclaimed 2009 film about a corporate downsizing expert who travels the country firing people and then soon faces a personal crisis. It's usually me between what? round two and three, Mark. Jason, right? Yeah, that's when we start to see the Ken meltdown. He's holding it together thus far. Though. Oh, oh, oh. Drop. We missed you, Ken. Come I have back. no idea. Five, four, three. I think. Two, one. Pens up down, in the Felix, air? And we go to. I put downsizing. Down. Anna Kendrick's best role, Up in the Air. Yes. Up in the Air is correct. Nice. Did Felix have it? I had Up in the Air, but I drew some balloons. Uh, up in the air with balloons is totally like balloons. legal. That is correct that. for a big yeah. point. Sorry, he didn't travel by balloons. He traveled by plane, so I might want to challenge that. <laughs> that is Someone probably would challenge that. Uh, I don't know how that challenge would be ruled. That would be a petty challenge. So we just challenge. move on to the world of comedies. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, these two, these two like this guy. For a point, your question. Chris Farley plays a slovenly gym teacher in this 1996 comedy, also starring <laughs> David Spade and Gary Busey. Oh my God, it's the uh, one I haven't seen. How do you hang out, Ellis? Is it weekly like I dream of, or? <laughs> we see each other from time to time. Okay. Always exchange pleasantries. Five, four, All right, it's the three, one Chris Farley. That is seen. Jen Kemp's first repeat, each competitor with two JTE rules remaining. And it is. In the world of comedies, Chris Farley plays a slovenly gym teacher in this 1996 comedy, also starring David Spade and Gary Busey. Gary Busey. And a lot of times, I want to see it just because Gary Busey in it. A Chris Farley story. Mm. Yes, they should. I actually Funny. really enjoy this movie. The funniest to ever do it. Mm -hmm. It's not the favorite All of the right, bunch by a lot of people, but it's first really funny. Five, four, three. I mean, you can't two, go wrong with Chris Farley, really. One. Felix, what do you got? Black Sheen, Beverly Hills Ninja. <laughs> Beverly Hills Ninja is a great guess, but incorrect. Did Camp have it? I feel like it's more of a community center than gym teacher, but Black Sheep? 
It is black sheep, and that is she going correct. perfect right and now. So here's where she's we are perfect. currently. Six Bill, what'd you put? To three. Jen Cat still a perfect oh. round number one with two questions remaining. Two questions remaining, which means we are up to number seven. The category is horror slash thriller. Horror Ooh. slash thriller. It's almost spooky season. In what 1954 Universal monster film does an expedition searching for fossils along the Amazon River discover a prehistoric gill man? Oh my God, what's the oh, title? I think that's how. What's the full title. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional about the memories of being dug out of that mud. Five, four, three. It's good for the skin. Two, one. Pens down. And I put let's monster go from the Black Lagoon. The, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh. The creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh. Dang it! From the Black Lagoon. Yeah, like so oh. Oh. Did I couldn't <laughs> write all of it. He did not, and so all of oh, I'm so mad. mad I didn't get that. I wrote. I wrote, I wrote so four fast. Points. Oh. Uh, uh, he to have one more shot, lagoon. and he gets it in round number one. So Final question. Dang it! I was so close. Science fiction. So close. Jake Abundant, I have not Which seen Tommy Boy either. Stars as the character what? Lieutenant mm -hmm. Artemis in the uh. 2020 film Monster Hunter. I have no idea if what I just read was about an actual film or something that PJ Campbell's yanking our. Jacob right. Lennon, I, I heard they you movies in 2019. just said you're not a fan of Tommy Boy, and I am Four. completely offended. Three. I know, I, feel, I know. My I have a feeling one. I wouldn't be completely Let's offended. Go to Felix. Did money have it's it? Mila jo Mila Jovovich. Mila Jovovich is correct. How about Jen Kemp? Yeah, it's nothing like the game, but it's Mila Jovovich. I think that Tony Jock and so Coast Star with her in that. Gets four points. I could be wrong. But... One. Not a bad round, but Jen Kemp. Jacob, the fact that you said you had to see one. Tommy Ken Boy and not she that is now yeah. the right for bonus Boy. question. Yeah. Jen, Just Ken's going to ask you the question. Soul. He's not going to tell you what the category Jacob, is. Jacob, guys, we're guessing on this. One. You don't have to write this one down. It is to only be fair, I have no desire to see Tommy Boy either. All right, Jen. Well earned bonus question. Here you go. What famous comedy troupe starred in the classic films? Horse feathers, Monty Python, I don't know. And a night at the opera. That would be my I guess. literally have a picture of them over there. It's the Marx Brothers. <laughs> the that Marx is correct. Brothers. <laughs> no idea. Wow. The Marx Brothers. Look at that perfect round one, Jen Ken. All these many decades later. <laughs> well, Mr. Blunden, we might be doing a, uh, score as it we depends on our patrons. Round number two. This but is the Rocketeer is one of the options for our watch long this month. You can watch it for the first time with us if you Felix does, so we don't have to send you a real wheel. We just have a virtual wheel. Hi, Sean Wingley. you do. You're going to land on a category for yeah, questions. Yeah, shame, we shame, 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 shame. Each uh, how do we do that round? There's no penalty for missing a question. I have However, dose. Stealing is available in round number I have two. Eight. So if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us mm -hmm. for multiple choice. We'll give you four Did options, I one of which it? is oh, the correct speaking answer. Of, point, the value of the question received you guys, to one. So you it should is definitely a five-point uh, lead for the mean Patreon, queen. Because I may or may not have been talking to I believe I will sit on my a Schmodown competitor All and his right, girlfriend who may or may not want to participate in our bar trivia with us. Let her sit on her assets. Because, because maybe get to hang out with some Schmodown peeps. Listen, I'm shaking off whatever just it was saying. it just is. This is your first time in here. You're doing an awesome job. She had a perfect round one, and I've seen her have a perfect round one and lose. I'm <laughs> John, so you that's sly exactly son of a gun. That's what see happen here today. As we talked about going into this, round one don't mean, it doesn't mean- I'm not rubbing in, Brian. I had to into ask. Round two, a Rachel's, more Rachel's more rubbing round it in by putting in the chat. As long she as always puts no, in the chat. No, the she's not. She's a sweet, sweet person. Then we're gonna be solid putting, going into this next round. Doing her. Uh, uh, Rachel, I don't know if you. Oh, you probably saw. Very interested, uh, being that you're a Harry Potter fan. Right our first bar trivia topic to is Harry Potter. Money thing. Oh, did we already announce it? It's yeah, on, yep, it's on the Patreon. Okay, then Our yeah. first, the theme of bar mm -hmm. trivia really for like next Thursday, for all of our $20 patrons, we will be competing in you think Harry Potter. The, think only the Harry Potter series, not can Fantastic Beasts. Not Fantastic Beasts, don't count it. Yay, take it, keep 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 it. Don't take it, don't take it, take it. This guy talks so much crap, take it. Don't take it. Listen, I think, uh, no secret that, that Jenna's uh, dabbled in IG, and I think we know that only muggles use money, not wizards, so my, my bet is to spin again here. Oh, oh come on. What does Molly say? Coward? Be, uh, a coward. 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 If we come back coward here, you be coward. Because okay, uh, you've got this in your blood, too. So it's going to be quite again. fun, all those 
All those we'll uh, okay twenty dollars patrons playing Harry Potter trivia. Interesting point. Don't be interesting. The wizards really don't need. Oh look, now Jacob wants to part of it too. Oh, I'm sure Jacob. Taylor will too. I know. So crap. To rub it in your face that you're not. Oh, boo. Okay. I don't hate 90. I'll take YA also. Yes, it says 90. Yeah, is it 10 enough or 20 enough? 1990. No, the, that is gonna be the your category. bar trivia is for $20. Felix, we were around the that. Star Wars you study session we were here. with Molly is right, $10. Has now. Returned. Competitors, make sure we can see your hands. If you want to be holding a stack of $10,000, you're more than welcome to. Oh, Jen, who calls him a coward well. in the Ken chat today? We'll be asking the questions to <laughs> Felix in this round once All again. All right, 90s Ken, movies. He has spun Come on, give me some lethal weapon. Give me some Jurassic and Park. Just make it all Tommy nice. Boy questions. There you go. No, thank you. 1990s. All right, here we go. First one coming your way. Great decade. This is the last decade in which I had hair. All right, <laughs> question one. Bill Pullman plays U.S. President Thomas Whitmore in what? Independence Air Force One. Oh, I wasn't even reading the question. Jesus. Am I right? Independence Day. No, it's Independence Day. Joe got it right. Oh, crap. For two points. <laughs> I was that was totally a guess. Yeah. He is. Uh, Selvin, I will check on that right now, man. Three. All right. Next question. Who received a Best Actor Oscar nomination for the films Re The Remains of the Day and Nick? <laughs> Never even heard those in my life. Yeah, I was gonna say, but it's ten dollars for trip. Whatever. Come party. I go multiple choice. I, I want to say Anthony Hopkins. A. Anthony Stop. Hopkins. B. Daniel Day Lewis. C. Rafe Fiennes. I would Rachel say Ben Kingsley. Okay, I have it backwards, and that's my fault. Ten dollars and up gets to play trivia. Oh. I get the options one more time. That's my fault. A, so it is ten dollars. Anthony Hopkins. B. Daniel Day Lewis. C. Rafe Fines. D. Ben. We're King still King. ironing out the kinks. We've never done it before. <laughs> It'll be fun though. Anthony Hopkins. Oh, I'm so excited. Right for a point. Right for a point. We got there. So he's feeling his way through this round nicely so far, Ken. He has Jacob London, what Harry Potter house are you in? Remaining. Next question I'm getting a Slytherin in. vibe. Who stars as a big city doctor in a small town? 1991's Doc Hollywood. Actually, yeah, no, I'm going with Slytherin. Anyone I else in the no anyone else in the chat, feel free to put your Harry Potter house. Five. Multiple choice. A. Joe and I are Team Downey Hufflepuff. Jr. B. Michael J. Fox. C. Rob. I'm going Lowe. Robert Downey Jr. I'm gonna Andrew say Michael J. Fox. I'll say Rob Lowe to switch it up. Mm. Watch, it's gonna be Andrew McCarthy because we all picked the other three, and that's usually how this goes. Five, four, three. I'll go Rob two. Lowe. Oh. Incorrect. Incorrect. So for uh, steal opportunity, we now go Brian, to that would be called a muggle. Jen. Ken is going to repeat the question and the multiple choice options. Jen, Brian, what? Is a big no, that, in a small that would be called a damn shame. Doc Holliday. A, Robert Downey Jr. Hollywood, Ken. Hollywood. Yeah, John Pierce <laughs> Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah, Tyler. A, Robert Downey Jr. B, Michael J. Fox. C, Rob Lowe. D, Andrew McCarthy. That's a raven. It's cost. Michael J. Fox. It is. One point. What, did I, what did I even say, Mark? I I, I just. I wanted to let finish. It. Yeah, I'm just happy that Val Kilmer. I don't think I've even the heard of any of the movies confusing. that have been oh, so, oh, said oh, in no. this category. Yeah, he's great in that. I'm okay, so far out. The bottom line is this: Jen gets a big one point multiple choice steal, but we do go back to Money, who can cut the lead to one money. with his final really question of round two yes, in the category of the '90s. What's he facing? He really needs this. All right, here you go, Heath Ledger. Julia Stiles and Joseph. Ten things Gordon I hate about you. Yep. Star in what? Which is coincidentally one of our film. watch along picks this month. <laughs> and I have never seen it. I haven't either. And Jill gives me. Oh, you too. I've never seen it. And not no. Jill. I meant to say Molly. Molly is giving me so much poo poo over. Five, four. That one. Three. Two. I've heard. Oh, come wait, on. Who's never heard of Independence Day? I've heard, I have I heard of about that you. one. B. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. C. Clueless. We stand D, that Buffy is a that. choice in this. I forgot. I forgot out of, about out of those picks. One hundred percent. Yeah. So she's all that. Oh, oh correct. No. Big steal opportunity here for Jen once again. Yeah, he Ken's going to repeat. He should have talked to his money. All right, Jen. No tombstone references oh, I guess here. Heath Ledger, Julia Stiles, 
and Joseph Gordon-Levitt star in what? <laughs> I know, Jacob, I'm sorry. A, I know. 10 Things I Hate About You. B, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. C, yeah, Clueless. I'm not a, D, I don't know, I'm not she's a, all that. Wrong. This is a wrong com song number in this, but it's 10 Things I Hate About You. That is right. For one point, steal Oof. there, Mr. Ellis. Oof. And it's a big I steal. Because now he gets the engine no advantage bueno. back to four that points. Is, it is 11 to no 7. And she has bueno. yet to spin the she wheel. So money round? proving he has knowledge yep. to the 1990s. Yes. She hasn't even. She's up four. And she hasn't even. If she goes perfect, by Kemp, he gets. So we say goodbye to money for actually, now. Actually, she gets manager, three twos and a one. Yeah, she doesn't even have perfect. All she needs is seven points. That's all she needs. what's going on, Jed? How you doing, girl? Look, I've been sitting here watching it. I've been black people brunch. You know we like to do things in the moment. You out here killing it perfect so far Black on the steals on the first round. Do you even need me here? You good? I love it. I mean, I'm always happy to see you. Too. I know. So I'm good here. I want to go to the drink mimosa while you out here just Winston, keep on killing it. Go ahead and spin that darn there, go darn there, we Sorry, I've had a few <laughs> bottomless today. Right. I love this background. Ken, it should be noted, we're taping this match at 6.30 p.m. Yeah, Winston's, Winston's- Why are you snitching on me? You snitching? Never-ending mimosas, it goes all day. It's I want to, I would love- No, no, yes, and yes, yes, my yes. Sneak in to Wizarding yes. World. So, Jen, would you like to keep yes. Wizarding World? Or would you Ooh, like I feel to a, I feel a knockout at Coven. Harry Potter? Look, I man, come feel on, man. a knockout. Go ahead, I would say go ahead and keep this. Which I'm kind I'm of upset about because then I, mean, I only get like a point. Else. You see something else you want? <laughs> I mean, I'd like that mimosa, but... Uh, I was going to yeah, try to I'm keep this on my head balance today. for the rest of the game, but I got yeah. way too excited I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to ask Keith over here if he'll let me borrow the private jet. I'll fly you out of a mimosa, girl. Come on now. I'll fly you out of a mimosa. Hey, Keith, can we take the jet? Are we done with this? A lot of money being spent today. Okay. Sorry, I freaking oh. love wins. All right, and money has <laughs> returned, and somebody else has a private jet in this match, apparently, too. So, money, keep your hands up for All steal right, opportunities. And we go to Jen Kemp for her four questions in the wizarding world of that kid with the lightning bolt thing. Your question scar mark. number one. Thank you for I'll four for two points, and they need multiple four choice points. What is the name He's of the, the giant cross. tree that moves in uh, the Willow car in Harry Potter ah. and the Chamber of Secrets? Yeah, I know. That would be the Whomping Willow, and it's been on these grounds since before you were born. Arguably oh, my favorite Harry Potter. We stand. And that we is stand. correct for oh, two man. points. It is now a six-point advantage, Ken. If Jen can run through this category, she could not only get her first W, she could be scoring a knockout. A knockout. Not there yet. Where we are is Ooh. question two in the category of the wizarding world. Peter Pettigrew can transform rat, himself rat. into Ooh. what kind of animal? I think I got it's that. A rat. Oh, I uh, definitely no. said it before it, you. It, Chat. It, it was, Chat. I have it in my Chat. notes that we will not Chat. accept mouse, we will accept rat. And that is correct for two definitely points. Definitely said that before you. 15 to seven. It's an eight point game. She Watch, can extend it to me. 10 be, with her be penultimate honest, question Chat. in Chat. the wizarding Who world. That? And it is. Thank you, Selvin. As revealed in the Deathly Hallows Part One, um, uh, stole the uh, Elder Wand from Wand Maker Grindelwald. Uh, Grindelwald. Uh, Grindelwald. Ah! Oh shit! I read that wrong. I read it as Grindelwald. Uh, let's go. Grindelwald. Yeah. Sounds like that's a crime that Grindelwald <laughs> committed long ago. That is correct. I read it wrong. Get it, Jake. Let's go. To Get it, Jake. Ken, hey, you that's might not only probably the advantage the Washington football team is going to have over go. the Dallas Cowboys in both matches this right coming fall. Today. It is also a 10-point lead. If Jen Kemp can hit this last question, whether it's the two-point version or with multiple choice, Come on, Jen. she will have Let's knocked go, out no, the all she needs money is multiple choice. for it and get that's her all first she needs win in the choice. Mm -hmm. She's, She's like not going to need it. He's Joe Theismann's leg. Ken. Unbelievable. Your question, Jen. <laughs> for two points and the win. During the game of Wizards Chess in the challenges to get the Tonight. Sorcerer's Stone, okay. oh, what it. chess piece does Ron have Harry um, take the position? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, the the bishop. Bishop. Queen's side castle. Or Queen's the side castle. Oh, wait, no, no, shit, that's... Ron's the I'm going to say the bishop. I'm going to no, say the bishop. Uh, um... uh, let's go down to multiple choice. Please. Oh, what's it called? All uh, right, you have four options worth a it's, point, um, and they are. Is rook? it A, king? Rook, rook B, damn it. Bishop. I'm going to say bishop. Knight, it's a rook. I said bishop. Rook. I'm going to say bishop. 
Is it Bishop? I think it's a rook. I think. I know Ron is the knight, and I believe Ron's the knight. The rook, so I'll say Harry is the bishop. <gasps> and yo, let's go! Holy nice. cow! Nice. Knock out the jet! Jet! Yeah! Played a perfect game. Jet. Yeah, the bottle, set it for Jen. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Ah, girl, you come to black people brunch. Let's go. <laughs> Good day to brunch for Winston. You're invited. Lunch, as it turns out that we're going to let them celebrate with their friends at brunch for a sec. Ken and I are going to wrap things up. Um, I wish for dinner like sounds good, actually. You love yes. that, uh, I got two of four Harry Potter questions right. A very fun personal debut for nice. Felix Money. I, like I said, this was Jen right Kemp's twice time, a day. and you just felt it from the moment round one began. I got this was seven. her destiny to get over that hump, Good for you, win, Jen. And boy, did she do it ever. Yeah, we talked at the, at the top of the show. You <laughs> she that first, won in first singles laugh, with doing IG-type questions. And the first <clears throat> victory for Jen. She knows this game. Go. She knows what to do. She's very relaxed, very calm. So, Jill, that's a... By the way, because now of the plus Winston one for Jen, but the minus one points. for Felix. Oh. I get it now. No, you get just a regular uh, singles Jen victory, so you get good two. Team, good win. What an effort. Yeah. I, I would have gotten two no matter what, like right? So. so we are going to turn well, it yeah, over if it was to a regular the great victory, Jen yes, Sturridge, correct. who's going to have correct, an interview correct. with the uh, winning faction Team Swag, <clears throat> Jen Kemp, does Winston Marshall, KO get more points and than Winston's a TKO? friends. Congratulations, Jen. You one. finally did it. How does it feel to just hey, get Jen. over that now? Oh, man. Like, it was it was funny in the team's match for the final question to be Cabaret because I really have been feeling like Sally Bowles of maybe this time like it really has been like a long road here and like felix came in and it's really hard to go up against the perfect round so yeah i feel bad about that but uh i don't feel don't bad feel about bad that. girl it doesn't girl. hurt when you get your strength too and round you're two, right. right that just kind of we'll help it's that kind of had to make you like really settle in first the perfect round one and now that you know like it was just your day I mean, yeah, like the wheel has not been my friend, so I may have been doing some curses and stuff on the side and sacrifice we a few goats that are not dead. Rolls, so maybe that may have something to do with it, but uh, it's <laughs> sacrificed nice to not a few have goats that are not named Dan Merle. Absolutely. Winston, you got to be feeling pretty good, and I'm not talking about the mimosas. <laughs> oh, oh, it's all the mimosas for real. No, uh, real talk. I. I'm so proud of Jen. I mean, everybody saw what she did at the free for all. <laughs> she is a tour de force. And this is a well-deserved um, uh, win. I mean, she didn't miss a single question. And I, I got a question, Jen. Did Killed you it. know that was your guess a bishop and you were just being safe? Yeah. And that's the whole thing. So uh, obviously I the could stats feel are Paul yelling at yeah. me to be, be cool. Like, yeah. So, like, yeah. Well, she didn't, exactly. she no, didn't but I mean, have to answer you saw it outright. You said it in the private chat. I said, look, if you need to check down, check down. Because one point or two points, you get the dub if you get this question right. And so that was the strategic Later, thing Selvin. to do to further back. Bye, Selvin. We'll so, catch you later, man. On I know some of the upcoming some people are going to just go to hard on hundred percent PPE. Man. Get Maybe your uh, get your man. happy hour question. All right, she didn't miss a single question. Yeah, she had, she had G. All you boss. patrons, right, about, get those Chuck. Don't forget games. to. Really, I'm those, a fan of board games. Don't forget but, uh, to answer those questions. Not the one that Chuck. I go to a lot, so I wanted to double Chuck, check. You always forget. <laughs> I'm singling you out, Chuck. So now Chuck, that Chuck, we have Chuck, this win Chuck. under our belts, uh, and obviously it's got to be a nice boost to your confidence, who would you Billy already sent his vid video, y'all. I oh, better get honestly, those videos in. I Good for you, I, uh, I just like Good to play. Like, it, it took so long just to get a singles match uh, that, yeah, I will put whatever you put in front of me. I'm excited because, like I've said before, I always just go out and try to do the best that I can do. And luckily, I did that today. So, yeah, <laughs> Felix, like, he came out, and it's, it's hard to come in so late in the season as – another rookie because the rookies have been killing it this season right. so yeah like all props <laughs> to him and i hope uh, he gets another match because money like yeah, I, yeah I i'm free have some money so yeah I, I was gonna say like brother you put out stacks on stacks so like we over there down at uh blood souls you want to come swing on by and, and bring some of them stacks oh, no. pay for these chuck, chuck he'll, he'll be there in spirit barbecue? he'd be there in spirit no, I know that's okay. I'm just going to leave it at that. Anyways, congratulations Bar on a well fought victory today and on getting that right first now. W. Uh, I'm sure there's many more where that came from. I'm getting Chinese. Drip, food, drip indeed. Yeah. And that's not just the barbecue sauce spilling onto the floor of the delicious Blood Sows restaurant. It is also Winston Marshall and Jen Kemp celebrating. And why not? It's True a story, knockout. Tyler. It's Kemp's True first oh, win. Oh, Jen versus Patriot. And it's a big fun. moment for oh, Team Swag, as we mentioned. They're both. But I, like we talked about yesterday, higher up in the faction standing. You weren't here for Swag taking a big We talked about how we didn't want to Absolutely. see girl versus girl anymore. Left. You just need to stay within a grand slam. Cuz Paige just yeah. played two girls. You want to see yeah. her play yeah. a guy. Again, and Jen just played a guy obviously, but 
Yeah, uh, you, I you're agree. You're going to have to work that out with him on your own. As far as There's Felix only so money many goes, ladies where do you go from leagues. here? It's let's, a tough loss, but at least you've got some valuable reps in the movie yeah. from your schmodown. And I can say this. Roxy Stryer is one of the best motivators that we've ever seen in or out of the Schmodown. So you know that she's going to help him keep his head on straight if he even needs it. But I'm pretty sure, yeah. even though he lost today, Felix is not going to be lacking confidence going into his next match. Absolutely. As they say, Mark, you know it well. You lost today, kid, but you don't have to like it. That's from a good movie franchise, I hear. So now we are going to turn it over to the stars. Roxy Stryer, Felix Moret, with our own Jen Sturgeon. Oh, are you oh. wiping your tears with uh, is that a hundred? Oh wow! We don't have that much money. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a, it's a we, love take, we love good character. We love good character work. Live and you learn. I would ask how you're feeling, Roxy, <laughs> but I think we've already addressed Jesus. that. It's funny. Uh, so, what did we learn from this match? You know, oh, I, mean? Leo, uh, I think that you. there's a lot you can take away from I your first appearance that. here today. Obviously, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. It's the but stars, and then who? You have to take something away from the it suspects? that's positive. Yeah, no. swag. You know, swag. The, yeah, swag. I spun away from uh, Wizarding World. I talked about it. It's definitely a strength of hers. Um, I'm a, a, a pretty big Harry Potter fan uh, as well. And uh, why did you not take it? Respect, you know, I, I wish I kept. I would have, I would have done much better than that than I would have done on my own. So I think it's more about playing offensive than is playing defensive sometimes, and, and that's kind of my big takeaway from today. But you know, there, there, there's, the there's a lot today. that I, I liked in today's match. I think you know, first use of a JTE helped me pull that answer, making sure that I, I consistently use those when I feel like I have it right there that that that's something that I'm I'm proud of today absolutely Roxy was there anything that you were looking for today that just didn't come together I I think that anybody's first match can go any kind of way and has no bearing on how somebody does in this league in general uh behind the scenes Felix is like the most incredible faction mate I've ever seen uh, he helps out everybody with everything they need and I just wish we were able to support him better today because he really deserves this W with the amount of time that he puts in for the stars. It just happens this way sometimes. Hindsight is twenty twenty, And I think that this is a, a game where you have to learn on the field. And that's what we did today. It's not going to be the last time that we see him. And, it, you know, in, in the future, I think, like he said, with that specific category, you just don't know. You never know what the questions are going to be. Everyone these days is trying to avoid the decades. The decades categories seem to be particularly rough for a lot of people. I mean, it's All 10 years worth of movies. It's terrible. Yeah, it's a lot of movies in and those years. When you get hit with one of them and it's and it's and it goes that way, it's really, really tough to come back from. So uh, I also learned that apparently when you lose, Winston tries to make you buy him ribs. Doesn't feel <laughs> quite right. So Winston, you can buy your own ribs. Thanks. I will say, <laughs> I, I know Keith. I go to I go to the black brunches too, obviously. Oh, wow. <laughs> Keith, Keith doesn't have a jet. And you know, I think one of the small I know wins that I have today is uh, Winston has his mimosa. I had I had a really nice bottle to my left that I was going to make as a celebratory mimosa. I'm going to bring out the the cheap bottle of Dom, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll make my own mimosas and I'll and I'll be fine, you know. Mm. Yeah, I, I think uh, you'll be doing just fine. Uh, I like his character work. <laughs> uh tough loss today. It's but pretty fun. It's pretty did you like enjoy uh, your first time out of the gate all that aside. Like how did it feel to actually on make brand your with the like yeah, money great. nickname. I mean, listen, yeah. you can go back and you can look at the there are belt holders who lost their first match. It's, it's I'm not well aware. Yep. Yeah. Uh, You've so been I think, here before? I've been here a few <laughs> times. Uh, I, I think just to get that off my back feels really nice. There, there's always a, a, a little bit of nerves. Um, I, I know the sensation when you're, you're riding high, you have a million on red in Monte Carlo. You, you feel the pressure. And it's the same thing here. But once you've done it, you know, you, you, you're walking in next time like a, like a vet. And, I'm not saying that I have, you know, 20 matches under my belt, but it definitely feels different when you have one than when you have it's two. It's nice to get the one out of the way. If you you're know, walking in with those the, nerves after out losing a million dollars, you're not walking in like a vet. You're walking in like a homeless person because you just lost <laughs> all your money on red in Monte Carlo. <laughs> Pocket oh, change yeah, to him, yeah, yeah. million that, dollars. That, that's compared. pocket change. Must be that's nice. Can I can I get in cut of some of this? For the love of God, I've only been here for how many years now? I'm not hey, making you nearly. You join Swag, you get the royalties at the end of the season. 
Mm, okay. Anyways, I, uh, best of luck to you in the future. I'm sure yeah. you've uh, made an impression on all of us Schmodown fans out there, and uh, I'm sure it's not the last we've seen of you. Thank, Thank you, Jen. Jen. All right, Ken. Chuck, who's winning the POV Fantasy deep. League? I'm in for, third place. Not, not us. I meant of our... For them. Uh, our, our, for fr- the, not, what, our friends. Our patrons? The, I guess they're the patrons, technically. Like, it might be a um, mix, but I would like to know. Uh, well, yeah, there it is. Um, look, we'll start with Jen Kemp here. Woo. Freaking bravo. Uh, she, Yay, Jen. she didn't miss a question. She got perfect first round. And then she goes to multiple choice once just to be safe because she was in KO territory and she made the right call. Um, she played incredible. Uh, she looks like someone who could be really, really fun to watch over this year and hopefully beyond. Um, maybe even a great option for for Winston and the team or the singles tournament, excuse me. Because um, with with Paul having that uh, that free for all shot, um, does that take him out of the singles tournament? I doubt it, but is that like an actual possibility for Swag where he's not in it? I don't know. Um, very, I'm I'm super excited to see it though. I, I think Jen is a very very strong player, and like we mentioned up top, I just want to see more of her. I just want to see more of her. Much deserved for Jen Kemp, and she played fantastic. I mean. Can't play any better than what she did. Yeah, I mean, I, she even got a couple steals. I mean, she was she was killing it, and uh, I, it, it feels right when Joe or Jen wins because, yeah, hi Joe. <laughs> uh, I mean, it feels right. It Jen is like one of those ones where it's like every time you see like, you're like, oh, good. I like her. She's a good, she's a good competitor, and she is. She she knocked him out. It is his first match, um, so that that is uh, probably a little bit of a factor. But I mean, he could have had a great debut. She went perfect, KO. So it's 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 hard if anyone's playing in KO territory. I don't care who you are. That person. You've got a tough hill to climb. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Chill. Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy Jen finally got her first win in the fashion in which she achieved it. Like, perfect game, KO'd. Come on now. That's just pure brilliance. And we all saw how great she was in the free for all. And for her to finally be like, put her stake in it and just be like, hello, I'm here. I'm ready to take over the world. And she freaking killed it and i agree with a lot of people in the chat that they're saying that we could definitely see jen in the singles tournament i would not at all be surprised yeah. if she is one of the four from swag in the singles tournament for sure I, and then on the flip side F- felix uh look it, it was just a rough showing a rough match he got some bad questions and he just that didn't come across his radar uh, I don't think he's someone that we're going to see once and then he's going to go away. I think we're going to see him for a little bit. As we talked about, his character work is really good. Mm-hmm. Um, really, really good character work. Uh, different from anything we've seen before with the whole money thing. And does a really good job with it. I think he fits in well with Roxy and the Stars. And uh, he could also be a possibility in that in that singles tournament for her just because she did lose Mark Andrenko. And that was a big blow. Um, I know she does have a couple rookies. Uh, which are possible uh, on top of Felix, but uh, she has she has some tough tough decisions as well. And I don't think this is the last that we see of Felix this year. Agree? Disagree? Agreed. Yeah, I mean, there's still a decent amount of time. I don't see why not. The character's Get too one. good. Yeah, I mean, there are still plenty of rookies to that I'm sure would love a second match. For so sure. why not? And yes, uh, Brian, they are lightsabers. Pew. Pew, pew. Um, all right, everybody. Well, that's going to wrap up today's reaction. Uh, we are still more, more than likely there won't be one tomorrow. It's undecided. We're going to decide that as a group um, because Fridays sometimes tough with Fridays in the world opening back up. Things that are going on. We'll let you guys know uh, if you're on a Discord. Discord will know. Twitter, Twitter will know. And then obviously you'll see it posted on the YouTube channel and you can see the notifications, stuff like that. But a couple plugs. Um, one, check out our Patreon. We mentioned it throughout the show. We're doing bar trivia with our patrons now. Um, and mm-hmm. the first one is themed Harry Potter. 
Uh, it's very, very fun. And I was mistaken, and it is. For the $10 and up patrons, um, you will be able to compete in a fun bar trivia atmosphere next Thursday. Get your whiteboard. Uh, and get your whiteboards, or if you have a pen and paper, that's okay. Uh, we're not the down and you don't need something like that. But or that, yeah, uh, whiteboard, what if, if you have whiteboard. Isn't it Zipper um, that uses note cards? And yeah, note cards. Um, <laughs> and these two are more than likely competing. And so uh, you will be competing against them in some Harry Potter trivia, which will be a lot, a lot of fun. And then second, uh, the signature drink for happy hour went out today, but it is this Saturday, everybody. Oh Jill and Molly will be joined by Adam Witt on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Signature drink is up on Twitter. If you are not on Twitter, um, you can probably just Google it, to be honest, and the picture will probably pop up. Just go to our Twitter page. You don't have to be a part of Twitter. The, the profile is public, so you should be able to go on there and check it out. Um, the drink is, is called the, the Yub Nub. Yub Nub. The drink is called Facebook? the Yub Nub. It's not on the, it's not on the movie trivia show on Facebook group, no. Oh, yeah. Um, and so uh, check that out. It's called the Yub Nub. Um, there's a specific reason why we chose that drink this month. You'll probably figure out why next week. Um, and so, yeah, check all that out. But for now, uh, if we're not back here on or tomorrow, we'll be back here on Sunday. And uh, it's going to be a fun show this week. We're going to play some games. We're going to have a little Q&A. We're going to have a little fun because there's no paper for you to talk about this week. We're going to do some things up top and then play some games and take some questions for you guys with the four of us. It'll be a lot of fun. So make sure you join us there. Uh, Hope everyone has a great Thursday. Hope everyone has a great Friday and a great Saturday. And if we don't catch you guys back here tomorrow, we'll be right back here on Sunday. And uh, yeah, so adios, guys. Bye.